Hi, this is Mr. Manley, and today I have a video on log linearization. Here we have some data, and if I were to look at the graph of this data, I would see some sort of smooth curve, and I'm just going to do a rough uh, estimate here. Of, I'd have some sort of curve like this, and it would be apparent that there's some equation that fits that curve, but I can't get to it directly, so I'm going to use log linearization. The first step in log linearization is to take the data that you're given and to log it. I'm going to uh, call the log of the X capital X and the log of the Y data capital Y. And what I simply do here is take each of the data points here in the table on the left, log it, and place it in the table on the right. So if I take any piece of data, it's like this 1.401, that is the log of 25.198. As a matter of fact, I could use log any base I want. I just used log base 10. That was the easiest key to hit on my calculator. When we do do this, when we do work with this data, let's make sure and work with uh, three decimal places on all of our data. Once I get this, now do notice or, or do know that this, when I look at this x, y here, that x, a way of referring to that x is that capital X is equal to the log of lowercase x, lowercase x being that one over on the left, and capital Y is equal to the log of lowercase y, that lowercase y from that table. Once we get this table of data, now the idea is that when I log the data, again, I'm just going to look at a rough idea here. If this logged data, if I were to graph it, it would come out to some straight line. And now remember the first curve, it was that, it was that curve, and I, I didn't know what the equation for that curve was. But this line, I can find, this line here, I can find the equation of a line easily enough. So we're going to do that. And what I'm going to go for here is that I'm going to find the equation capital Y equals M capital X plus B from, uh, from this data. So the first thing that I do when I'm finding the equation of a line is find the slope, right? Now, as a matter of fact, I can use any two points from this table. I'm going to just use the first uh, point here where I can say um, that I've got uh, the first two points. So I'm going to use these first two points here. And I'm going to do change in y, which I'll do 1.401 minus 1. So that was this y-coordinate minus that y-coordinate over the change in x, which will be 0 0.301 and then minus 0, which would be this x-coordinate minus that x-coordinate. Evaluating that expression, I get... 1.33 and another decimal place there. Now, something about these, when we work with this, we want to kind of make a little bit of an assumption that if I were, if I had more detail in this data, or if I had some more exact data, that this might, like I might have 1.3 repeating. So when I see 1.33, what that is going to mean to me, how I'm going to interpret that is that it is 1 and 1 third. And you have to do that with, the, with these a little bit. You have to look and say, well, what is, that really, what is that really telling me? If I saw 1.66, that would be telling me 2 thirds. I see 1.33, that's telling me 1 third, even though I'm not seeing a 1.3 repeating. Okay, with that, I can uh, complete my equation here y equals, I'm going to call the 1 and 1 third, this 1 and 1 third here, I'm going to call that 4 thirds. So that's 4 over 3, and then capital X plus, and then what's the next thing that we do with an uh, equation of a line? We find the y-intercept, right? The b, which is the y-intercept. Well, in this case, 
it's right here, right? If I look at the first point, when x is 0, y is 1. So that's the y-intercept. The y-intercept is at 1. So I've got my b there. OK, uh, so we're getting closer to finding this, that first equation. We're trying to find this, the equation for this data in terms of y and x, lowercase y and lowercase x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry this uh, equation uh, that I have found. I'm going to carry that forward. So here it is, y equals 4 thirds x plus 1. I don't know if I wrote that before. It's plus 1. I think I had plus b still, but the y-intercept is 1. Now I'm going to back substitute. Remember that we said that capital X is equal to the log of lowercase x, and capital Y is equal to the log of lowercase y. So I'm going to make those substitutions in the equation. So I get log lowercase y is equal to 4 thirds log lowercase x plus 1. And then from here, I have a couple of options for so to solve for y. I want to end up with y equals some expression in terms of x. And we have a couple directions that we go. I think maybe the simplest one is to say that I've got log of y minus 4 thirds log x, which is equal to 1. Now, there's a property of logarithms that allows me to say that 4 thirds log x is equal to log of 4 uh, x to the 4 thirds. That's a power property of logarithms. Now I've got the subtraction property, right? The subtraction property of logarithms, which allows me to say that this uh, log y minus log x to the 4 thirds is log of y over x to the 4 thirds which is equal to 1. Now from here, you need to know the uh, definition of a logarithm. Looking at the, the defini defini definition of a logarithm says if I have log base A of B equal to C, that I can rewrite that as A to the C equals B. That's what I'm going to use here. I'm going to use that definition, and I'm going to rewrite this as 10 to the first is equal to y over x to the 4 thirds. And then, just solving for y, y is equal to 10 times x to the 4 thirds. And maybe I'd like to write that as 10 cube root of x to the 4th, something like that. Either way, if I were to look at this now, that is a smooth curve that would fit the original data, and that is the process of log linearization is what allowed me to find this equation, which is, that's what we're looking for, y equals that, and that is the process of log linearization.